Hey, welcome to this Canva tutorial. We're going to look at how to cut out an image using Canva. It's very simple. What you're actually looking to do is to remove the background from a photo so you're left with just the simple shape of whatever was in the foreground. So let's do this. First of all, Instagram post square because I just want a blank background that we can work with so we can see clearly what we're doing. Next, we're going to need a photo that we can cut something out of. So let's go to photos and find a picture of a, um, a dog. There we go, nice and simple. Now you'll notice straight away, there is some that are already cut, cut out, so you can save yourself a lot of time, but you might have a picture you wanna use, um, such as this one here, and we can drop that on the page, and you can see it's actually got a little bit of background, a little bit of blur there. It's very, very simple, very quick. All we do is go to edit photo, make sure it's clicked so you can see these little handles showing, Background Remover, BG, Background, and click the button. That's it, it's so easy. And there you go, the background's gone. Now the best thing you can do is pull this little center handle down and crop that off as well. And then you can put your little puppy down the bottom there. So just to do that again with something a little bit different. Um, let's go for one with a cat, seeing as we've done a dog. And this one has a little bit more complex background, but you can see it's kind of cut off, so I don't want that. What else have we got? Oh, there we go. That's a good one. There we go. Look at this cat. Okay. Cat looks like it rules the house. Okay. Uh, click edit photo. Click background remover and let's see what happens. There we go. The magic already happened. So Canva is extremely good at this and I imagine the more photos that it does, the better the learning of the AI that does this. Again, just grab the little handles, crop it off. And the reason I say crop it off is because when you want to put it somewhere else, uh, you want it to be as close as possible. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of white space around it. Obviously, with the background removed, you can actually use it like a, um, a PNG when you export. So if you export this under Share, Download, and then choose PNG, and then click Transparent Background, what that will do is whatever you put this over will show through, and it'll be like it's on glass. So nice and easy, and click Download. But I'm not going to download that just to demonstrate exactly that there is nothing behind these. I'm going to go to elements, background, and I'm going to drop a background here. I'm going to stretch that out nice and big, and then right click on it, choose layer, send it back. And now you can clearly see these elements have been cut out. And that's how easy it is to cut out an image in Canva. See you in the next video.